Hey, oh no, no, not hey everybody. Hey, I'm Australia, and today we are not gonna go to the impact site. We are gonna be flying circles. No, that's better when we have all five. Oh, no, I shouldn't spoil it. We're gonna go to the forest of hope. Uh. What a monotonous tune. It is so good. I love it. My dolphin has returned to the surface along with the pigman's onion. Being alone on the strange planet makes me somewhat easy, so I shall call the pigman out of the onion. All I need to do is stand in the light and onion and press R. Now, oh, I can't show the map. But there are eight ship parts here, and you don't. And you could technically do them in all one day, but guess what? We are not going to do that. Instead, we are going to multiply. Hmm. See, that one's yellow, so it won't give us a two times multiplier bonus. Yeah, the one pounds give us two Pikmin. Makes no sense, I know. Anyway, swarm the grass. Touch grass. Don't be as pale. Okay. Another intriguing discovery. A local variety of grass produces some sort of yellow nectar. We have come for your nectar. When the Pikmin drink of this delicacy, they have instantly mature into flowers. There's a power Pikmin favorite seems to be full of nutrition. Closer observation is needed to determine the strength of your killer animals. Flower Pikmins. Flower Pikmins have, uh, they're faster and, sh no, I don't think they're actually stronger. They're faster and they won't trip. And also, Flower Pikmin, when they die, this is only for this game, but they will actually leave a seedling behind so it can reproduce. So you won't actually- well, not always. Sometimes they'll leave a seedling. Aw, oh, come on, we've got one red leaf Pikmin! Ah, uh, so we will be able to tell who Steve is. <laughs> we actually- was it intentional? I don't want to- <laughs> Well, uh, there's literally nothing else we can do. We've grown our numbers. And the only thing you can do here is, uh, break down the wall, so... Yeah, we're just gonna have to wait for that. Allow us to activate Cryo Sleep. Oh wait, it's not in this game. I've recovered one out of 30 chip pots. Just four more parts will increase the Dolphin's capability. While confirming the ship's status, I've taken the opportunity to repair my spacesuit. Oh, so we can't Cryo Sleep. Hurry up! I'll just cut. Oh, hi, I love you, Steve. Oh, now that we've taken down Mini Berlin, we're gonna go outside. That is a dwarf ball board, but now it is dead. Now, there is... Now, many people think there's only one ship part you can collect here right now, but there's actually two. So, let's do it. Am I right? We don't want to break down the non-ones. The non-red ones, because they're really useless. If you put these guys, if you throw Pikmin on their back... <gasps> what? How did that miss? Wii Motion Controls. You sure this is Wii Motion Plus? Or is it bad? Motion Sickness, am I right? Well, now we're increasing their numbers, because we require 40 Pikmin to, to carry that ship part. Oh, come on, don't pluck, don't, don't nectarize, don't flower eyes. Quicker! No! Get on with this! Pluck Foster Daddy! I'm sorry. Oh, look! That indication of the bell? It's a subscribe bell. No, it's not the subscribe bell, but you should do it anyway. It's how much of the day we've gone through.
Now slow rise! Not enough. Let's get this, guys. Now there's this theory that is not a theory because it's confirmed by the game in Pikmin 2 that Pelopozies are just crystallized nectar, so... Sometimes nectar allows them to grow and sometimes they allow us to reproduce. That doesn't really make s Just like puberty! So is nectar like puberty? Oh my gosh! We've got another red leaf Pikmin! Why? It's the eternal fuel dynamo! And I it's gonna be supply. I won't have to worry about saving electricity anymore! This will make my fight for survival a bit easier. Marty Pikmin to carry it. Okay. Remember the high grade explosives I was talking about last episode? Yeah, this is that. But unfortunately, we do not have the right type of Pikmin because, oh, red Pikmin are just too scared, I guess. Now get on with it! Ah, uh, faster! Oh wait, I can't rotate it. I like pick with through. I was getting ready to rotate it. <laughs> Eternal Field Dynamo. This should light things up. No more candles for me! I have now recovered two out of three, 30 ship parts. If I can find just three more, I should be able to- Yeah, shut up. Pluck! Pluck my- Pluck my little tropes, my little picks. Let's throw a bunch of these guys up here to get another treasure. Not treasure, ship part. Oh my gosh. Throw our Pikmin up and we leave the rest here. And now we're gonna go up this awkward slope. The reason we're not gonna do this later with blue Pikmin, which is not how you're supposed to do it, but is another option which most people do. Is because, well, it's just hard getting blue Pikmin up. And also, I'm lazy. I'm not gonna come back here. No! It's the shock absorber. This apparatus can counteract the shaking and swaying that normally occur during flight. It's smooth sailing with this place. In this place, usually. Go to sleep! Who's drowning? Oh. <laughs> My clock has indicated the coming of new high moon. From now on, I must play close attention to the sun meter on my monitor to resume the action recording, so it's best to review my monitor's data. Across the top of my sun meter, the sun meter, and the day is played. At the bottom of my space boot, damage meter, and my Pikmin gauge. From the left, these Pikmin are black for. The Pikmin on the Pikmin in the field, and Pikmin and total Pikmin, including those in the onions. So there's my monitor, I can press Z to rotate the camera. Left or right, on t, t We've done this a billion times! Adjust your monitor, you mean your viewpoint? It doesn't change your HUD at all. DIE! For one short, because the bulb orb killed a ton of Pikmin. Now, I'm not gonna reset because, oh, I'm not gonna roll with the punches. Normally, in this game, you lose a ton of Pikmin. That stupid Thor Pikmin. We are gonna hate it. What is the worst name I know? Um, what is a really bad name? Uh, Aiden. Yeah, we're gonna hate Aiden the Red Pikmin. He's, he wasn't even a red leaf. 
Sure, red leaf Pikmin ha can trip more, but there's red leaves. And they didn't cause ma mass destruction. Oh, look, that's where the ball is. Okay, anyway, let's go down and close! There's another ball board, which we will not lose any Pikmin to, I promise. Pinky promise. Well, let's just wait for it to go. It's on with it! Get the shocker, Zorber! Alright. Now, there's this person on the Pikmin Reddit who has been drawing every Pikmin ship part but as anime girls. And now I can never untee these ship parts. Actually, not true. Well, particularly, I can't unsee the Gluon Drive. This nifty little device counteracts the shaking and swaying of experience in my typical space flight. No, not the Gluon Drive. The I've now recovered two, three out of 30 ship parts. I'm going to find just two more. I should be able to. Okay! No, my thoughts exactly. Kill that ball bar. What a beautiful song. You know, someone could turn all these songs in this game to just music trap. It is so annoying having to have to wait. If we ever get a Pikmin 1 remaster, please allow us to pluck before the thing is. That's the one thing I love. I'd rather get that ability than Pikmin 4. Just kidding. Pikmin 4 is way better. Oh my gosh, I am wasting time, but I still got two ship parts today. It's not good. Usually I get three, except, no, I don't replay this game. I replay Pikmin 3, so I have Pikmin 2. But Pikmin 3, people say Pikmin 3 is longer than Pikmin 2, but... Uh, I don't want no, Pikmin, of course it's longer than, no, it's short. People say that Pikmin 3 is longer than Pikmin 1, but I disagree, I think. No, oh, Rosh is sporty bomb! Now we don't want to throw, because throwing in this game is super slow. I mean, technically you can do it every other frame, but you got to be close enough to throw. So, it basically, so unless you can perfectly throw. Like, look, I'm spamming it. And I'm all good at throwing, but, and I can't spam while I have, like, 10 CPS, but it's still lagging. Work on the wall. Do they really need to, like, would this game be any different if they remove the wall? Honestly, the wall, so many walls here, I don't like it. Can we defeat them all? Yay, we did it! Now this... Oh. Here, one, two. Oh, that was a failed bum rush. Exponential damage! Another onion? It's yellows, I guess McDonald's onion. <laughs> First off, dismiss all our red Pikmin, and kill the native wildlife. The flora and fauna, we killed both the flora and fauna. Now. Bulk. Bulb. Oh, what's bulb in Spanish or French? The color is different, but it seems, why am I doing, who's doing the ship voice? Let me do that. That color is different, but it seems to be a Pikmin, nonetheless, first glance suggests that it could be be what in some circles could be considered very large ears. It looks like it may weigh less than the others. Very some circles. Don't the go pilots have really large ears? Did, the, did this game just predict Pikmin three? It looks like it weigh less than others. In other war, in uh, what well, otherwise is different from red Pikmin. I must sure to observe it closely. I can hold a Pikmin for a moment with ah, uh, and then swap it for another by pressing B, ah, uh, and B. That's right, yellow Pikmin. 
They can throw higher, they're thrown higher, just like in every other game. But they also have another ability, which is not a Pikmin 2, and is technically a Pikmin 3, but everyone has it, so... It's like the ability to attack. Everyone has it, so is it really an ability? Takes forever to block. Yes. How did that get launched? No. Now, even though it, even though if it's boring that I don't talk, I'm still my clock is indicating the approach of sunset. Pikmin waiting beneath the bluff, and aliens will probably enter the onion at the end. But if I don't know all the straggler and island survivors, they might not be able to get back. I'm sure that the Pikmin still planted are safe, but I'm somewhat concerned about leaving Pikmin to find themselves in the darkness. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to die here once again. Is that how the song goes? No, it's not. Get on with it! Pluck the yellow Pikmin! Now we want to do a detour from plucking to... And oh! High grade explosives! The yellow Pikmin have picked up a particular peculiar stone. Why did I grab- don't hide to grab it? This action seems to be in instinctive to yellow Pikmin. But just what are these strange glowing stones? Brightly growing plots cover them. Perhaps these factors indicate that this is a This merits further research. You know what also there's further research? Explosives. Explode him up! The glowing rocks of the yellow Pikmin picked up seem to be explosive stones. Perhaps none of these stones can be used with powerful weapons. The bomb rocks are dangerous, so I must take care of what they're using, but they should be able to blast up with the walls that block the pathways. I may be able to use them against some of the wild creatures. <laughs> I must be filling them with bread from a wall scary Pikmin and give them orders. They will throw their bomb rocks at nearby walls or obstacles. These most of the bomb rocks is tremendous, so I must keep my distance. You know what else is tremendous? The fact that you hit the subscribe button, which you definitely did, right? Get Red Pikmin. Even though they can't handle high-grade explosives, they can still be there. Now, unlike in Pikmin 3, if a uh, Pikmin, if you throw them, it doesn't instantly... We won't skip this. Will the yellow pigment run rush back to the No, don't press B. Don't press B. They're rushing back. Okay, listen to this. It's longer in this game. I'll be silent on the next day. If I remember. Let's see if we left any behind. No, we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> that bull warp can't get across the bomb rock. Look at him, he's trying. Two days since impact. It appears that many of my ship's part has landed in this region. If I can just recover the bars of my radar, I should be able to use the radar screen. How that would improve my chances, then I would only have to press T to locate my parts. I know it's plus, but I still say T. Yet, yeah, there seems to be many hostile life forms here. But I have attacked and my space suit takes damage. I must return to the ship, press A. And it makes cheap repairs. I war on my say whatever. Well, I guess that's the end of the day. Bye. Click the buttons.